that how these things started and how are we progressing and where we plan to go in maybe next five seven years so the entire thing started around maybe two or three years back before this covid pandemic so bhba bhl already was on a journey towards digital transformation the management was very much aware that uh, digital disruption is definitely going to hamper our conventional line of business so we have to work on alternates with respect to revenue streams emanating out of digital digitally transformed products like let's say as we were told rmds which is remote monitoring and diagnostic services our product line itself we have started working on some products which are 100% connected products and uh, there might be in future that dhl might be offering products which are let's say offered on an operational model rather than a capital investment type of thing and similar directives are in fact coming from the ministry of heavy industries also where they also have perhaps seen this digital disruption happening 2-3 years back and their directives to dhl management and to especially the it sales have been in those directions only so uh, based on that we had started working on our digital strategy couple of years back and as we previously highlighted primarily it is focused about the operational efficiency which already we were doing with erp non erp solutions and all those things and uh, i would not like to go into details about how many erp instances we have and what all is on not on erp but yes definitely a uh, decision making layer based out of uh, these disparate solutions is definitely the need of the r for bhl where we are uh, conceptualizing on a data warehouse and a bi type of a solution and uh, probably such things won't materialize if we go for a let's say uh, on prem type of a solution because the data requirement and the requirement with respect to management expectations is going to be manifold because as i hope everybody understand the psu environment changes every time the management at top level changes so we have to keep that also in mind that what would be the objectives in future so some business management dashboards connecting all our manufacturing plants which are either erp non erp so that data warehouse work already some initiatives has already started and uh, other initiatives which we had taken are towards either towards our internal customers which is our employees so we have tried to build mobile applications like recently i think around 6 7 months back we already had a sap based uh, human resource management system so over it over the top of it we have created a in house uh, mobile app which we called my bhl app so that is developed by bhl in house it team and uh, that is already around out of a bhl manpower of 32000 around 50 60% people have already onboarded it so especially in this pandemic time when things were very difficult to even view your let's say basic details and uh, people were struggling to get the hospital details and also we are trying to bring them into the same platform so that all employee centric services are delivered through a single platform and uh, on the other side there is a customer need and the supply chain so they are also on the customer side there is some work going on where we are trying to create a single window for the customer and for that also we would probably in future be looking for certain cloud based solutions so in public sector yes there are hardly i don't know i iocl sir is there nambiar sir he might throw some light later on but it is difficult to jump into cloud cloud for public sector we have been struggling for quite some time because of certain reasons like maybe primary reason being uh, that uh, how to switch in case of some contractual issues with the service provider so these type of things are there so otherwise our requirements for the future are very clear we are going for a data warehouse central data warehouse pulling data from disparate data sources and giving decision uh, dashboards to our top management mobility for delivering services to employees and a single window for customer so that customer need not run from pillars to post for raising his problems and and on top of all of this as i earlier said we are also trying trying to create a product portfolio which is a digital product portfolio rather than a conventional business that we are selling